the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. What we should have done in the beginning. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three God in your name that you've been in the midst of them. Father, we pray right now, Lord, to be in the midst of us and, and guide us and control us concerning the things that you want. Move us out of the way that the Holy Spirit have his way. Father, we pray about the importance of make stand in the truth and that the truth will make us free. I pray, Father, that those who will listen to our video today or this week, or, or whenever they get a chance to see it, is the focus is this continually in your word, because if we continue in your word, then we are your disciples, and the truth will make us free, compel us to do that which is acceptable in thy sight. Allow the word of God, and we encourage the word of God. We encourage every believer that it was not just on Sunday to continue this word. It's not just on the midweek service to continue in this word. It is every day of our life, just as Joshua said, meditate on the word day and night. I pray that those who are listening to this study, listening to other ministry, is to continue in that word and make sure that it does not stay within the four walls, but it becomes part of their life. I thank you for all that you're about to do. I thank you, Father, that we now receive the presence of the Spirit to get into the Word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. But, you know, you know I won't hold you up too much because I, I, uh, we, we did lose an hour. But I wanted to cover something uh, this morning, if you don't mind. It's... Uh, I, I sent out a video. <clears throat> it was talking about the truth will make you free. And, and I thought it was interesting because you and I had talked, you had said something uh, last Sunday uh, about how uh, some people, because it, you know, when we talk about the political divide and <sighs> And it's not so much just the political divide, it's the fact of the, uh, the I guess, the rationale sometimes how people look at things and how they become very angry when you disagree with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, was, I was talking to a, one of my former co-workers, he had retired, um, and I, I, he used to be in the military, but he, was, he retired the Air Force. But guess what the statement he made was, I only listen to the truth that I want to hear. Have you have you heard that before? Well, I mean, I, I don't. I'm pretty sure I've heard it, but <laughs> you you said last week how it, it it really does change the demeanor of uh, some people. Yeah, um, and 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 I was. And then one young man, when I was talking to him um, at the job, nice young young man, uh, but his demeanor changed somewhat. He even said he just don't even want to listen to uh, news anymore. He said, uh, "I was telling him about the you know the nine eleven, uh, not nine eleven commission, but the nine January sixth commission." Mm -hmm. and, and about the people who instigated the, uh, you know, the riot mm -hmm. attack, right? And he's saying, well, it's possible that the uh, that Antifa uh, started the riot. And I and I and I, you know, because I I didn't know he was thinking that way, but but when he went that way, I was like, so. So it's possible what you're saying is that of all those people wearing those Trump supported outfits, that this it was easy for these quote unquote Antifa, and I assume you're talking about the white Antifa people, because most people used to say white Antifa was you know predominantly black, but I said so it's possible that they could have just motivated 
that many people to attack. He said, well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. And I said, wow, wow, okay. So nothing, nothing that was said by the leadership of the organizations of going to the Capitol and all that, that was, that was, that was not, that was Antifa planning that, you know, or to storm the Capitol. That, you know, they was easily convinced. I thought they was following their, their leader, you know. He didn't say just not out of the realm of possibility. He said he found one person that was filmed that was, he thought was somebody who was a former uh, or may have been a, a Democrat or something, you know. I said, yeah, wow. One person. That's all they well, need. He said with but, a bullhorn. You know, it's, it's, uh, people are going to believe what they want to believe. I mean, it's, it's only obvious. This society dictates it. It, it, it proves it, you know, um, and the problem is, <clears throat> no matter what side you believe, there's yeah. a lie in it. Yeah. There is falsehood in it. There is half truth. There is deceit. And the only thing you need to believe. Mm -hmm is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and, and that's what my, that's what I was thinking about with my uh, uh, conversation is today, because that's why I was going to read, I figured we'd read over that because it's very good about this. John, uh, you know, chapter eight, where he does say the truth will make you free. Are you, are you? And, but back to that thing, like you said, though, is that the, because uh, even Russia, you know, like there's some people in Russia that don't even know that there's an, there's a war going on between their country and the, um, you know, they even put the, the media, they, they shut down all the networks. Yeah. And they're, right. they're, they're arresting anybody who says anything yeah. opposite of yeah. what's on the TV. Yeah. But I, I, I saw on some show where a sister in Ukraine called her brother in Russia and told him and showed him what was happening and he didn't believe it. Fake news, yeah. His own his own sister, he couldn't he he would not believe. Yeah, yeah. And so it, it just lets you know how powerful the media is and the news. And if 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 you have if you're not hearing and hearing by the word of God, yeah, yeah, then that truth won't make you free yeah. from the lies and the deceits that's being filtered in every, every. arena, exactly. in every direction. Right. So uh, that's why I am just so overwhelmed by the blessing that God has given me from that truth that he has shown me, the simple truth mm -hmm. that Satan is the God of this world system. Yes. That, yes. That's a simple truth. Yes. If you start with that, then all that's going on in this world mm -hmm. is so easy to see what's of God and what is not. Exactly. It, it is so simple. Yeah. And yeah. then all this stuff lines up together. Every good and perfect thing comes from above. Right. But everything that's that's full of deceit and lies and all that other stuff and and these these uh money loving motivated initiatives that they're just exposed. It really is. Yeah. It it yeah. really, really is. You you just I see, I see the enemy at work so clear. Yes. So clearly. And because I am focused on those things above, it, it's, it's just easy to not get emotional about the things that are happening on this earth because the Bible says it's going to happen. It's been prophesied over and over and over again. And he also said about itching ears too, didn't he? He said anytime yeah. somebody itching ears, they want to hear 
Cause that, that was the first time I got when the guy said, I want to hear the truth. I mean, this is, it was just ironic how the word was. I want to hear the truth that I want to hear. Yeah. You know, and I, I mean, think he, he was, just, he's just, I mean, and then the truth. That was the point. That's what caught the truth. That, that is a truth. And it made you free from his nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously, from a, his bias opinions right so you 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 know how to receive anything from him yeah uh, you know what i'm saying so and and when people want to hear uh -huh. a certain type of information yeah yeah then <clears throat> it's, it's going to take the gospel to set mm -hmm. them free from yes. that pattern of hearing. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it, it's going to take a move of God because if that is the desire of your heart, yes. You're going to get that. You're yeah. you're only going to receive that. Yeah. And it has to be a traumatic you know, a uh, head jarring moment in your life to shock you out of that. Right. And put you back on reality. Yeah. Yeah. When people when when something personally happens, like these people who don't believe in in COVID, uh -huh. when it happens to them or somebody in their life, right? There is no, you know, there is no believing. Oh, would they a, 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 a lie or a yeah. false a false truth or a half truth? You know, you know the it. truth. Right. You, you don't have to put no faith in nothing else. Faith ain't what you know. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and my, yeah, because you know, some of the people in the hospital, they were begging for the vaccine. Yeah. To get it. And the lady said, well, it, that's too late now. We yeah. Can't, we can't do but that. See, the, the crazy thing is, their, their thing is, we don't know what's in it. But there's so much they don't know. They don't know what's in toothpaste. I know. And Come they on. stick it in their mouth every day. Every day. At least day. hopefully they do. But... <laughs> You know, it's just it's just so much to to when you really, really hear mm -hmm. what people say. Yeah. So my my thing is it it is these these people are locked in because the Bible says they're locked in. Yeah. The Bible says their eyes have been blinded mm -hmm. so that they don't get the truth yeah yeah the, the purpose of them being the way they are is so that they can't receive the true the word of god yeah which is the truth and yeah. then there's those who are actually in the body and i believe when they are caught up into this world system that is straddling the fence yes that is being lukewarm yes that's not being hot or cold, you either be in this world and of this world, or you be in the kingdom of God and of the kingdom of God. Mm. You're either yeah. a human yeah. or a heavenian. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're either you're either a child of God or a child of Adam. Come on, man. Or a descendant of monkeys. Let yeah. me throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> the, part, put, uh, the, the, the ultimate part of carnality, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. So it's, it's when it, when, and I mean, our, our, man, it just breaks my heart. It does. Yeah. Where the local church is. Caught up in the same thing. Yeah. Some you of know, them. And, yeah. And, and you can see how everything has come full circle. You can see how when the Pharisees and the lawyers and the Sadducees and, you know, all those religious leaders, how they use politics yeah. to control the people yes. and to, 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 to try and take God's position, God's glory, God's honor. And it's, it's Jesus comes, 
changes all that. And then they resist it. You, you they, have they, the, the disciples of Jesus. Yeah. They go about establishing what a real body of Christ is. Not, not yeah. a church. Yeah, yeah. A body of Christ. Hey, hey, you know, let, let, let me interrupt you because what you just said, I want it made me that sense says that you remember when Jesus left. And the Pharisees went after the, the apostles. You remember that one statement they kept saying, these are unlearned, unlearned. men. Yeah. And you, also, you ask yourself this question, like, I was sitting there thinking at first, this is this, my thought process was that they were talking about, well, these men haven't been through our educational system. Um, these people are common. You know, they don't have a background. Uh, as as the, I guess they needed, you know, a degree to yeah. the point. Well, basically. But, but, but they, they could recognize that he they've been with Jesus. Yeah, because they weren't they weren't regurgitating yes. their structured belief. That's the point. Yeah. Their form yeah. of 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 life. Yeah. Because you know that 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 what what we seem to forget is being a Christian is not something you practice. Right. It's not a sometimey thing. Yes. The, the, the early children of God, this wasn't them going to church. This was their life and their lifestyle and their, their, their upper and lower control limits in between those was all a life of a child of God. Yeah. And outside of that was a life of sin and debauchery, you know, with the world. And yeah. so this was how they lived. This was exactly. their lifestyle. This was their 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 laws, their 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 livelihood, their their structure, their their reason for living was all built around the customs and courtesies and laws that centered around God. Yes. But when it became warped and men put themselves into it and injected their understanding and their will and their desire to be above men, when they, when they stepped into the pattern of Satan, mm -hmm. then God removed himself <laughs> out yeah. of the picture and the protection of these people and the world do, does what the world does, exactly. which is what's going on now. And yeah. so the world comes in and it just pummels them. Yeah. And it breaks them down until they realize the position that they're in. They have no choice to realize it exactly. because their only way out of it is to get back to the life that they are meant to live, which is a life pattern after God's will. Amen. In hey, God's man. way. And that's, that's the way it is today. The Amen. same exact thing, except it has been changed from a, a, a body of people to the individual. Yeah. When Jesus fulfilled the redemptive work, yes, it became an individual thing. Come on. And now the individual is who, who has been given all things yes. that pertain to life right. and, godliness. and godliness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not needing to go through any priest. Or, or 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 anyone you go directly to the father through Jesus by the Holy Spirit you, you, and, 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 and this is something that just just now dawned on me yeah you you go to the father through Jesus yes you hear from the father through the Holy Spirit yes <laughs> so and, that and, is the cycle 
that you need to look for. Not exactly. Not, not, not. I mean, it's, it's you get perfected in the church. Yes. You you get uh, uh, confirmation. Yeah, you in get the a church. Quick. You that get you get direction in oh, the no. church. You know, you don't get your life in the church. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. That's the whole point, right? You know, you, you, you know, and and the thing is, you know, people say that, and, and I've heard it said, is that God has given this man a mantle. Mm -hmm. And you need to hook up to that man's mantle and help support him, be a pillar to what God has put in him. But what about what God's put in you? If God did not put that in your heart to hold that man's staff, <laughs> yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. Then God is speaking to you for you. It, you know, that's, that's man, you, you're hitting all type of revelations here. I, I was going to you, I went live, I just went live too. Uh, for those who, who may time in and, and listen in, and uh, the, the uh, for those who may dial in and go get noticed and then may peek in, we're talking about the truth will make you free. And, Amen. And, and and what you were saying, uh, I want I wanted to, to, to keep echoing that is I was looking at a couple of points that goes about what you're just saying with as we're talking about the truth will make you free in the pattern that God really has set up and how man has. Uh, injected itself into that pattern that you really was talking about. What I'm saying is, Jesus said in John 14, says, what? I am the way, the truth, and the, the truth life. And the life. Come to the Father, but by me. Right? And the fact is that when Jesus came, the concept was a direct relationship between God the Father through the Son to the person. Yeah. Uh, and and what ministries have done, in a, uh, what you call it, intentionally or unintentionally, is to be that mediator, that in between, to to try to guide people to the things of God. Um, and I'm talking about the fact is that I think I tell you over and over again about the fact that when I went to that first minister conference and we I told them you know we tell people everything and. And they said, well, who would be in charge? And, and, yeah. and that right that right there told you that man has intentionally, because of, I guess, the money piece of the ministry, you know, that they, they're more interested in having that number, that, that group yeah. uh, tune in to them and listen only to them. Uh, it's it, it break, it's heartbreaking when you look is. at the the root of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When you yeah. really really break it down to its rawest form. Yeah, and all I see is an imitation of Satan. Yeah, yeah. not an imitation of Christ. Yes. Because Satan is the one that was receiving the glory, the praise, and the honor toward him through ages. You said that, yeah. You said that, yeah. As, as, as a minister of, of an angel of light over the, 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 the praise and worship of God. Yeah. And yet he accepted it for himself and thought that he will put himself above, above the God. most high. Above the most high. Yeah. And and those and there was many, many angels that followed. Yeah. That went along they? Because they were they were lost. Right. In that it was that person. And the same thing is happening. Here in this world, yeah. this is something that was in heaven, yeah. in the heavenly heavens. And so, you you know, and this is just a nugget. You know, people always say, well, the angels ain't got no choice. You know, they didn't you have to. No, they had choice. Mm -hmm. They yeah. have choice. They have a choice to serve God for who God is or not. 
because an angel of light, which was the highest mm -hmm. under God, the Father, the Son, you know, the, the Son and the Holy Spirit, under them, there is choice. Yes. Directly under them to either serve or not. And when they did it, they were separated. Yes. Which is or what's yeah. happening now. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I've even heard someone on TV saying, you know, there is no more miracles. See? There is yeah. no more wonders. You know, all that was only for Jesus so that he can establish himself. Yeah. And I'm like, well, Jesus said that greater works. <laughs> they, they said, said that. Yeah, he did. They even said, I, know, heard one then, time, I, I heard one guy say one time that there are no more apostles. You know, he yeah. was trying to put that down, saying is that the apostles ended with the disciples. You know, uh -huh. you know I can say, well, okay, wait a minute. So the scripture is about he has given these five full ministry gifts. Uh, why would you cancel out the apostles? Because the person was saying it because Jesus gave these people the title apostle. And after uh -huh. that, nobody else could do it. And you you, you see the logic they're trying to use. Yeah. Is, I mean, and I, and I, I, when, when I've looked up uh, the definition of pious is someone who's been with Christ, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so I can understand that, but I'm with Christ. Exactly. Then, then you just took it to the I'm with level. Christ every moment of my life from this throughout eternity. See, I'm you, with Christ. You took it, that's what I'm saying. You took it to the next, the spiritual level, not the cardinal level. Yeah. The cardinal level is you had to be with Christ. And yet at the same time, at the same time, you Paul would have told you, well, I I I, I didn't physically been, I wasn't physically with Christ. Yeah. Right. I was I was interjected or interceded in, in the road to Democus, right? Oh, he had an encounter. <laughs> you see what I'm but he didn't have the he didn't have the he he didn't have the physical when Jesus was walking as a man. Yeah. He didn't have that encounter. Right? Yeah. He, but he had it after Christ has risen. That yeah. that's my point. Is the fact that if we couldn't we shouldn't limit that, that that those ministry gifts. And and yeah. I will not minister limit those. He said he gave these gifts mm -hmm. unto man, right? Those four five four ministry gifts. <laughs>